So, we're about to record our 100th episode of the Brighton Left Radio Show. To celebrate, we thought uh, we'd do a little behind-the-scenes tour with myself, Thomas Sood. Me, Sam Motley. And Jack... Hello. Jack Cross, behind the camera. Um, to try and you know, give you an understanding of how these shows get made, where we make them, under the Bridge Studios, and what really goes on uh, to bring you the um, <coughs> phenomena that is the Brighton Left Radio Show. So, we're just about to head in. I hope you join us. Underbridge Studios is a community music studio that was started initially as a home for the baby toddler music classes. Uh, we noticed that those groups were doing an awful lot of good to the parents too. Brighton has the highest retention of students of any university town in the whole of the UK. So lots of people stay on and find a partner and have a baby. So, we're now in the recording situ uh, studio. This is all the recording equipment we have. As you can see, a microphone. Uh, as you can see, a computer as well. Is it, is this it is where it goes it's on. on. No, you're looking for that light. So, we're now going through the general process of trying to actually turn the power on and to get it all working. This is being managed currently by Sam. There you can see. And then once we'll have that, we'll start recording the uh, radio show. So, to speak that. Um... Rushing ahead in time, you find yourself at 9-11 and on that afternoon we had a group of parents in the baby toddler music sessions who felt that they just didn't have a clue what was happening in the world. They were so busy bringing up small children and working that they weren't finding the time to do any research into what was going on. The, the ability of governments to maintain political stability through times of stagnation because actually due to the legitimacy gained over 100 years you know capitalism has survived and you know we, we say that it is in a crisis yes it is in a crisis but not to the same extent as you know large amounts of socialist countries completely they were well aware that they couldn't trust the mainstream media for information but they just didn't have the time to do the research to get to grips with right. what was happening. Yes, so they were very afraid. What about Bernie Sanders is, is he, you know, if it looks the ideas, but it's like, and he even has a plan to do it as well. And obviously, yes, but Bernie Sanders is of, as you said, Sam, of the uh, last generation. He does not offer anything particularly new, nothing particularly exciting. But if the left can sort of, you know, have the prose and the poetry, like have, you know, the, the, the widespread, the wholesale vision. And it was then that we realised that we needed to find a forum that would yeah. bring people with specialist knowledge from all across the city, from the universities, okay. from the medical school, from local industries, and just people who've had extremely interesting lives. Even people on the left, like Varifax or Mason, you said, can only talk about Keynesian policies. When actually, we have had Keynesian policies for years. You know, if this were the 1930s, there would be no deficit at all. Like, we've had budget deficits of 10%, and still, you know, we have not had a token society or an economic recovery. And yes, indeed, they have gone after the banks, but that is not good enough just to go after one part of the whole rotten system. So we've just finished recording episode 99, a heated debate on whether leaving the Eurozone is possible. Do advise you all to look at, uh, check it out if you haven't already. Uh, and now we're about to do 100. So just let's give you a bit of group on the, what we actually use. So we record an Ado um, Adobe Audition. Uh, this is our mic, as you can see it's on now. And when we're recording, we have this little red light on, which is uh, very exciting stuff. So this means no phones on, which mine just went off. And um, yeah, and if you look behind you, you can see there's a, some people recording. Is the room empty? It is luckily empty. It is luckily empty. So there you go, there's the, uh, and that's going on. Anyway, we're about to do episode 100, so uh, see you there. Bands. The place is financed by volunteers keeping the place full by doing all the bookings for bands who come along and pay to use the place and doing the preparation for all the teaching that goes on and keeping all the dishes washed and 
that's how this um, crazy place goes. That's why you can't say on you know December 23rd 2018 uh, Corbyn will storm the Houses of Parliament led by uh, you know, with John McDonnell at his side, what is he doing? The Queen's head, uh, carrying the Queen's head through Parliament. Sounds a bit like Charles the First. That type of thing. You can't. So it's morning start with individuals coming in to practice individual instruments, and then it fills up with babies and with people making radio shows on issues that they care about. And by evening, you're being completely deafened by everything from heavy metal to big Louisiana brass bands. <laughs> and that's the story of Under the Bridge. Yeah, um, why don't we um, learn necromancy and just resurrect Stalin to uh, <laughs> bring <laughs> revolution? So, we've just recorded the uh, 99th and 100th episodes of the Bright and Left Radio Show. Feeling very good, a bit of heated discussion, really interesting stuff. Hope you do watch them, definitely worth it. And I suppose that's it. Like, what are we going to do now after 100 episodes, Sam? Um, probably another hundred episodes, haven't they? Probably, may as well. They just won't stop. Um, you know, there are hundred episodes, each half an hour long, that's 50 hours. That's over two days worth of just listening to our voices. Now we hope you, so if you still feel you need more of us after this special documentary, please uh, continue watching our radio show. Hello, so we're at the final bit of the uh, Bright and Life radio show recording. This is where I do all of my editing on Audacity. So if you come over here, you can see exactly what we do. So all the main things we get is there's a lot of background noise that you may notice comes up in the radio show. So let's see if we can get it here. So um, yeah, we've got this. And if we look at this, we have, let's take, let's turn the book volume. So we have all of that background noise. So I have to do a bit of editing to get that. So I'll click noise removal, get noise profile. Control A, effect, noise removal, and OK. And then that will get rid of all the muffled sounds, all of that to get a really crisp and clear edit of the Bright and Life radio show. Now, how do we upload them once we have that? Well, that's quite easy, you may ask. You go to Mixcloud. This is our uh, site here, Bright and Left. You can see we have um, some good stats. So, 874 total plays, minutes listened, over 3,000 two comments, one repost, uh, and now, yeah, there we go, your profile, stuff like that, over 89 uploads, because about 10 episodes have been lost, and there we go, and there you can see all of the radio show, so one of the main things I do, besides getting rid of all the background noise, is we also have a bit where we uh, edit all of the time, so everyone goes like, um, or as Sam goes, you know, or... I mean, you're pretty good actually, Jack, and um, like you don't have any of those stuff. But me and Sam, it's about it's a good solid five minutes of any radio show. It's me getting going, mm, you no know, um, and Sam going, you know. So uh, a lot of my time is doing that, and it takes about two hours, and it's really difficult work, and no one ever congratulates me on for it. But it's important stuff to you know, for for the viewer. So I think that kind of concludes, uh, and then goes up, and then people listen to it, comment it, share on it. We post it on right and left. Let's just take a quick look at our site. This is, for any of you who don't know, we also have a website where the radio shows get published. You can see we have uh, Euro Crisis, we have Sadiq Khan, Brexit Debate, Is the Future Red, Mr. Moneybag, stuff like that, and all these different topics such as America, Feminism, the Middle East. Middle East, you can tell we're in the Middle East because all the pictures are just different bombs and jihadis being killed, except that one, which is about drone strikes. But anyway, I feel, uh, yeah, that kind of concludes the behind the scenes documentary. Do you have any last words, Jack? I don't think I do. I don't think you do. Well, that's pretty good. So uh, remember, keep watching the radio show and we'll be here for another 100 episodes.